The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need some help, please feel free to give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, this is Andrew with Learn About Law. In this video, I'm going to discuss how a financial restraining order can protect your assets in a divorce. So, first off, what is a financial restraining order? Well, it's basically a court order that freezes all marital assets. What this means is that when the order is activated, neither spouse can make large purchases, transfer money into and out of a financial account that is considered marital property, sell property, close an account, or change beneficiaries. However, the order does not prohibit a spouse from spending marital funds on necessary expenditures such as food, clothing, utilities, and other normal daily costs of living. Typically, a spouse will request a temporary financial restraining order as it doesn't require a lot of evidence for approval, but it only lasts 10 to 30 days. If they believe that there will be a continued risk to the marital assets throughout the divorce, they can argue that uh, they need a full financial restraining order. Financial restraining orders aren't necessary for every divorce, but if one or both spouses have a history of certain behavior, such as drug abuse, poor financial decision making, an ongoing affair, or one person controls a bulk of their financial accounts, then obtaining a financial restraining order is probably a good idea. If you have any questions about divorce and financial restraining orders, please give us a call, and as always, thank you for tuning in. Hi, this is Kevin O'Flaherty again. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we have many geographical locations for your convenience, so if you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. Thanks again.